think for us growth mindset, it really starts with our values and whatever values is to be ambitious. And that's something that we promote uh, from the staff all the way through to the children. So all of the staff here at Nielsen Primary School are encouraged to take risk, to lead new incentives, to try new things, um, without that fear of getting it wrong, with the giving it a go. And that filters down to our learners. So I had learners who lack confidence and actually as a school and our improvement plan we identified as a priority moving forward to develop um, literacy and specifically writing and ambitious vocabulary was one of the areas in which I decided to kind of move. I had a primary seven class at the time and these children were a wonderful bunch. I think there was a real lack of self-esteem with self-confidence, with speaking out loud, with sharing their thoughts and opinions and they were a very quiet class when we looked at where their mindset was, um, using the growth mindset um, questionnaires, you know there were some children who were certainly a fixed mindset and there were some who were just on the cusp um, that we eventually managed to move forward. But there was a real need for something to boost their confidence, self-esteem uh, and to permeate the curriculum as opposed to it just being, being one area. So, with a bit of drama, I um, asked the children in the class to write down all the things they thought they couldn't do on a bit of paper and they were asked to then take um, everything that they thought they couldn't do, write it down and pass it to me. I then took that home and I started a wee fire and I took some photographs and that photograph stayed with us the whole journey and actually it gave them the knowledge that I was behind them completely and that anything that they were going to do I had belief in them and straight away I think telling them that you believe in them. I've got that belief in what you, what you can do and your abilities. It was kind of like a huge, wait a minute, did, did, did you just do that? It was quite a shock and quite a hook, I suppose. You're always, as teachers, we're always looking for hooks to engage children and get them motivated. So that was um, the initial hook to get them started. So it was a bit of drama, get them hooked in. And then we started learning about really what growth mindset was. And then after that, it was presenting the challenge. And this was a 20 word ambitious vocabulary challenge, which had words like arduous, melancholy, uh, what else was it, obliterated. And I've got a class full of you know, learners with all different needs, levels um, and abilities. And there was a bit of a, oh, a bit of a, and a gas looking at what was in front of them, which was kind of what I was hoping for. It was that real essence of, oh my goodness, we've been presented with a huge challenge. So we got to work, the children were to work together and independently at different points. Um, and this was a weekly process and they would learn these words. They would look them up, they would work together, they would create sentences that would be um, jotters on whiteboards and discussion. And then we moved on to use the app Flipgrid, which was a video recording app. And the children would then share their work, so they'd create a little video. And then their peers would then give them feedback using a video. And they were celebrating each other's successes. And that, it was wonderful to see, but it wasn't just a, I've done really well, it's look who else is doing well. And actually part of growth mindset learning is that we celebrate the success of others, we're inspired by others, we're motivated by others. Growth mindset is traditionally um, taught through maths, or it has been from the experience and what I've seen and spoke to colleagues. So this is a little bit different. So we're trying into literacy and then we move on to science. So we move on to other areas of learning. And actually you can see the children using the language themselves about not giving up, about trying again, about, you know what, someone's got a great idea. I'm not going to be envious of them. I'm going to be inspired by them. I'm going to be motivated. I'm going to want to um, do better. And, and, and it was that encouragement. And we had silly things for encouragement. So when someone shared a success, uh, we would um, do a, we'd give them a round of applause or they would choose their praise. And it may be like a yeehaw where we would lasso around the person imaginary and hook them. And we, all these silly things um, actually had an impact because the learner's self-esteem and self-worth was um, growing and developing and flourishing, which is the whole point. I have been a class teacher here at Nielsen Primary School for six years, and as part of my interview process, one of the questions was, you know, an area of professional learning that I'd taken forward and that I could talk about and that had impact on children's learning. And I was like, great question. I'm delighted because working with um, one in Scotland and taking part in the course, because I had that depth of knowledge and the support along the way, I was able to plan a really robust um, professional inquiry which obviously was focusing on developing literacy but developed so much more and I was able to talk about that, talk about my learners, talk about the strengths, the real impact on the literacy development and I had you know evidence there that would show that they could now use ambitious vocabulary out with the usual um, vocabulary of that age group but it was something that I was I guess I kind of must have lit up when I was talking about it. 
Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. We have fabulous teachers just about to embark on their growth mindset journey with us and they're in different areas of the school and I'm really looking forward to letting them have this experience and adding that depth to knowledge. And from the winning um, Scotland material, we have created a staff resource that everyone can dip into. All of our newly qualified teachers get access to this. Um, but I'm so excited for our teachers to get started and get on the journey and to see what impact we can have and how that can filter across um, the entire school. It's something that I'm really, really interested in, uh, especially trying to build resilience after lockdown, really. Um, I think it's a skill that children need for life, you know, when they're approaching anything in their life. It's a life skill that's really beneficial and so worthwhile. Um, I'm quite passionate about it, you know, about teaching children not to give up. We have a wonderful staff team and I can say that, you know, um, everybody's really passionate about the kids in our care. Um, every single member of staff, it's not just some teachers. So I'm really looking forward to developing a growth mindset team, you know, and getting everybody in, on board and involved and really making it the best that we can. So that's what I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm.